Ricky, I see a big main event here, ranked matchup. I mean, uh, all eyes on you. I guess what's, uh, what's the feeling like a couple days out? Uh, it feels right. It feels right. I think this is right where I'm supposed to be. Um, I've been with the UFC for five years now. It took a little bit longer to get to this point, and it's kind of funny how it happened, you know, quick switch up, but it feels right. Last year was an interesting one for you, right? Like, you didn't get to compete as much as I'm sure you'd like to, but you have a great performance, and now you find yourself in a main event situation. But I guess, what was this past year like for you? Yeah, I uh, definitely wanted to get in here sooner. Um, I only got one offer that was uh, against Marab and then never heard back. Um, so just had to sit out longer than, than I would have liked to. But, uh, I mean, maybe for the best because I, uh, my wife and I had our first child and I got to spend plenty of time with them, plenty, plenty of family time. So that was great. Was there ever any frustration or fear? Because, like you said, you've been trying to work to this spot for a long time. Was there ever any feel like, what, what am I not doing right? Or why is it that they're not getting behind me? Or was there any, was there any of that from you? Um, maybe in the back of my head a little bit, but I also know that, like, you know, I'm, I'm ranked now and uh, I want to move forward. So it's kind of hard to get those guys to agree to the fights. You know, everyone wants to fight forward. So uh, that, I know that's part of it. But, yeah, I would love to stay more active for sure. That's all right. Well, you got the matchup now. Uh, I guess what did you think of, of Song as an opponent? Uh, you know, he's a, a guy that's been kind of working his way up as well. Yeah, I think he's a, a great fighter, explosive fighter. But um, I don't think he mixes it up as well as I do. I don't think anyone in the Bantamweight division mixes it up as well as I do. So I plenty have plenty of confidence going into this one. You've done five rounds early in your career. Was there any change in, in your approach or how you, how you, uh, you know, prepare or how you practice? I don't think I've ever been in the gym and not done more than five rounds. Like my coach Fabiano doesn't – Mondays and Thursdays I'm doing 10-plus rounds. Coach Oyama has me sparring way more than five rounds. So – I'm always in shape to at least bar five rounds, so I'm not worried about that at all. It's interesting when guys get in this position because everybody wants to finish fights, right? I mean, that's what fans want to see. But is there any part of you that kind of wants this to go into those later rounds to get that experience under your belt? Hell no. We th no. I'm trying. I want to get out there as soon as possible. No, we don't get paid by the minute in there. I I've had the experience. I've fought five rounds, um, and, and I, I, I know where I'm headed. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have that experience, but um, – I'm always thankful for it when the fight goes longer, but um, for for that experience. But no, I'm trying to get out of there faster. Nice. Does this feel like a, a, a big moment in your career? I mean, is this just another fight week? Just I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. Is this just another fight week, or does this feel like, a, a, you know, a, a, not necessarily a crossroads, but a you know, a big opportunity or something like that? I, I have been doing this for over a decade. It feels normal. I've been a main event, I think, for every promotion I've ever fought for. Um, so I, 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 like I said, I, it just feels right and it feels normal. Stack division, a lot of big names. I mean, uh, when here, do you, I mean, are there names to call out? Do you see what, what is logically next for you or what you would deserve after this? Yeah, where, where, do you, where do we do next? I mean, I already beat the number one contender. We could run that back. Five-round main event would be great. Us, Marab and I, for five rounds would be fun. But uh, I haven't really put too much thought on who, who's next because I'm, uh, I'm honed in right now uh, and I'm focused on beating up Song. Nice. Last thing, I mean, you said I get, you beat him up. I mean, what, what kind of fight do you think we see? Is this something you go out there and – make a statement? Is this, you know, maybe one of those back and forth type battles between two ranked contenders? Like, what, what, what do we see here? Yeah, I, I'm going in there to make a statement like, like I have been doing. So uh, I'm going in there to put, put the pace on him and, and get it done in brutal fashion. Hey, Ricky. Um, your last two fights, you've been finishing uh, people. And, you know, you, you did that a lot when you were outside the USC, And then you, like, started going to decisions a little bit. And then you what, – what, what's, what's changed the last two fights? Um, I, this is the best division in the UFC, in my opinion. So it's hard to get the finishes. Um, but I, I think I'm just putting it, putting it together better than I ever have before. I'm in my prime. I'm 30 years old now. Um, I have the best team around me. I put the best coaches around me and the best training partners around me. So confidence is, is through the roof right now. Is there a little extra motivation knowing that you're competing against Team Alpha Male again? Uh, I never need that extra motivation. I'm, already, I'm always motivated. So, I mean, that's not something that's been, like, playing in my head at all. And uh, any, uh, any update on the mullet? Are you bringing it back or? Uh... Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's on its way back. I wish, I wish I could get it a little bit longer for this one. But, but you know, it's, there's, there's something back. There's a little bit of a flow. Awesome, dude. Have you seen him yet this week? I heard you didn't think he was that large of a, an opponent. On, on your Twitter, you said it, you weren't impressed. <laughs> your dong is a little bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> Thanks. Is that what you wanted? 